There's both an art and a science to valuing diamonds. When we look at every stone, we understand uh, its four C's, the color, clarity, carat weight, and cut, and we, we apply that knowledge to valuing each diamond. Of course, then there's all the intangibles, the beauty of the stone, um, the rarity of the stone. And so each diamond really is individual when we look at it that way. My background is computer science. I have three degrees from Carnegie Mellon, and I spent many years building trading systems and actually running portfolios. And what brought me to diamonds is my wife is a jewelry designer and diamond dealer. But what I realized was that diamonds were left behind. They're an asset like gold, silver, and platinum, but because every diamond's different, an investor could never trade them. So the solution was to create the diamond standard. That's a regulator-approved standard that makes every bar and coin the same. And if they're all the same, that means they can trade at the same market price. My name is Greg Quiat. I am the CEO of Quiat and Fred Layton. It's a family business in our fourth generation. My great-grandfather founded our company in 1907. We have been known for fine diamonds and diamond jewelry for all of our 100 plus years. I've always been very interested in the intersection of the diamond world and the world of finance. And so when we were first introduced to the idea of Diamond Standard, it, there was an aha moment. There was this moment where I said, he's actually solved the, the reason why diamonds have never become a commodity. Cormac has come up with a way to make the diamond commodity fungible. When we look at diamonds as an investment, what we're really talking about is introducing the asset class to a whole new potential customer base, the world of investment. And if you take the experience of, of gold and other precious metals where some significant percentage of the overall demand comes from investment, if you apply that to diamonds, even if you take the percentage expected to a much smaller number, that's a very meaningful amount of new demand for diamonds that would be coming into the market. What Diamond Standard has done is created the fundamental unit, the coin and the bar, that allow diamonds to become a truly investment-worthy product for capital looking for diversification in a portfolio. The goal was to keep it utterly transparent so you can see the diamonds inside. What's also inside is a wireless computer chip that allows someone to audit the bars and coins they're holding at Brinks. It enables you to authenticate a coin and bar simply using your phone. But most importantly, that chip stores a regulator-approved blockchain token so that while your commodity is sitting in a vault, you can actually trade it on the market by using a blockchain token. So the most interesting use of our coins and bars so far is that we made a custom set for a major casino in Macau for the high roller table where they're using actual diamond standard coins and bars as the poker chips. People wonder where we get all these diamonds. Well, we had to create something that never existed before, which is the diamond standard exchange. We actually have 180 members, which are all of the largest diamond vendors in the world. A lot of people don't understand how diamonds are formed and how they come into the world. Diamonds are formed in the center of the earth under tremendous pressure and heat. They've basically been brought to the surface by volcanic eruptions. And so when we look at the rarity of natural diamonds, we are limited to these handful of diamond mines that have existed in our world. They haven't discovered a new diamond mine in over 20 years. And so the supply has been diminishing between three and 5% per year. We don't know when they'll run out, but so far the supply is falling. But at the same time, the demand for diamond jewelry has been rising. Rarity and scarcity in natural diamonds is really a function of what the earth gives up. That is the exact opposite from what we look at when we see lab-grown diamonds. Over time, there will be more and more and more, and the differentiation will be in that there is a rarity and value to one, and the other is really not worth much beyond the value and cost of production. Diamond Standard has unlocked diamonds as an investable asset for the very first time. This is really about making sure the customer understands that natural diamonds have true long-term value because of their rarity and their scarcity. And by showing that it is an investable product, that diamonds can be worthy of investment capital, that really hammers home that message on top of all of the other things that we discuss with them in our store.